Hi, welcome to the channel. On today's episode, we'll be placing a certificate using Setbot via Unify Controller. I'm trying to keep my videos to the point to keep them as short as possible. So let's start. First, I created an A record on my public DNS to point my Unify hostname to the controller's public IP address. I didn't go much into the process here as most people are likely to have a different domain provider and the process is likely to be different. If we view my Unify controller using its public IP address or hostname, there is currently no SSL certificates. You need to log into your Ubuntu server. Changing to a root user was needed for me as this is an Oracle Ubuntu image. I will be configuring a Let's Encrypt certificate to enable SSL and Certbot will streamline and automate the entire setup process. Install Certbot running the following commands. Now that Certbot is installed, the next step is to generate our certificate. Use your own fully qualified domain name instead of unify.csteps.co.uk. Enter an email address to use with your SSL cert. Enter Y to agree to the terms of service, followed by a yes or a no if you wish to share your email with Electronic Frontier Foundation. Your Let's Encrypt certificate has now been installed. We now have to tell Unify to use the Let's Encrypt certificate. Steve Jenkins, a developer, has created an excellent script that simplifies the remaining steps, making them exceptionally straightforward. Therefore, I would like to express my gratitude to Steve and proceed to download his script, making some necessary adjustments to the settings. Next, edit the sh file that was imported. Find the line that says Unify hostname and change it to your own fully qualified domain name. Next, since we are on an Ubuntu server, we need to comment out the Red Hat Fedora config and uncomment the Debian Ubuntu config. Next, enable Let's Encrypt mode by changing the LE underscore mode from no to yes. Save the document, you just need to press Ctrl X and then followed by a Y. Now we're going to run the script using the following command. If you now open your browser and visit your Unify controller via its hostname, you should no longer have the security warning and you will have a valid HTTPS certificate installed. All is now complete, however, there is a crucial step to consider. Whenever Certbot automatically renews your Let's Encrypt certificate, you must manually import it into Unify. To streamline and automate this process, we'll create a script and place it in a directory to execute. Add these lines to the file. Press Ctrl X followed by a Y to save and exit. We need to give the file the relevant permissions to be able to run as root and as an executable script. Run the following command. Set 
Certbot will now handle the certificate renewal process automatically. We can verify this by checking out the cron file that Certbot created. The following command will give you some info about the renewal process and when it will try and run the next renewal. You can simulate a test renewal if you wish by running the following command. If all goes well, you should see a congratulations, all renewal succeeded message when complete. You now have an SSL certificate binded to your Unify controller.